The primate of the first African church mission, Reverend Sunday Oludare Matlokro, has described as unwarranted the call for an interim national government by some section of people. <laughs> The message the primate says it was a negative thought. What is interim government? What is interim about it? What are we having interim for? Who will be the head of the interim government? And what is going to be the essence of the interim government? It's like going back to, 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 to the days of dark of the dark. It's like going on a journey of no return. It's like embarking on what you know that is an eternal do. We have been coming as a world democratic nation for decades now. Nobody should listen to any idea of interim government. Election has been held and it has been held, good or bad. There must be losers, there must be those who are victorious. Whichever way, the only thing, if you are not satisfied, go to court. Have faith in your court. When you have faith in your court, work hard to make it better. But if, if you say interim government, it means that we should, we should pull down all the structures in the country. We should call for the military to come back. You know how many years that will be taken aback? They don't know what they are talking about. Which country of the world that is uh, practicing uh, um, autocracy or practicing a military system or even communism is not being celebrated now, not to talk of uh, undemocratic government. Interim government can never be democratic. And who will constitute the interim government? Are they not human beings? Are they not going to be Nigerians? Are they not say, going to be the same people that we plan for another election? What happens thereafter? I think it is from the pit of hell and it should never be welcomed by any right-thinking person in Nigeria and anywhere in the world. The religious leader urged Nigerians to imbibe the spirit of humility and forbearance as demonstrated by Jesus Christ through his death on the cross and resurrection. My message to the new government that will be led by Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu is to fear God. When you fear God, you will do the will of God. When you fear God, you will work for the betterment of the lives of the people. When you fear God, your pursuit will be for how the people's life will be better. But when you don't fear God, you will just be amassing wealth. You will be taking what belongs to everybody. You will just be, the people will just be usurping everything that belongs to the people but when the fear of god is there it says the bible says when the righteous lead people rejoice so if he allows the fear of god to dwell in him and he rules with the fear of god posterity will never forget him primate Matt Lokro charged the incoming administration of bola amen Tinumbu to address issues that will bring soccer to the people